Hey everybody, this is Troy with eBuzz Central. Today we're taking a look at the newest release of Ghost BSD with the Mate desktop. But before we get started, please don't forget to like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you like the channel and enjoy the videos we produce, you can become a member to the channel right here on YouTube, buy us a cup of coffee, or better yet, become a patron to the channel over on Patreon. Those links will be in the description below. Ghost BSD. First thing we're going to do is zip on over to their website which is ghostbsd.org. I'll be sure to include that in the description below. Up top, you've got about, events, news, community, download, wiki, support, contribute, store, donation, all their social media links, Reddit, and their RSS feed. Basically states that it's a simple, elegant desktop. GhostBSD provides a simple desktop-oriented operating system based on FreeBSD with Mate. It uses the GTK environment to provide a beautiful look and a comfortable experience. And its roots go back to the University of California Berkeley Unix research. Historically, it was referred to as BSD Unix or Berkeley Unix. However, today it's called BSD for Berkeley Software Distribution. You've got Ghost BSD Online Meetup, Ghost BST ISO is now available, and then of course the Mate 1.26.0 upgrade. And then if you go down to the bottom, it shows a lot of their sponsors down here. So what we're going to do is go ahead and close out of this and go back to the desktop. If you download GhostBSD, put it on a USB or throw it into a virtual machine, this is the desktop you're going to be met with. Now, I do want to tell you something. GhostBSD runs in virtual machine a little different than Linux distributions. I don't ever assign disk space to a Linux distro when I'm running it in a live mode. With GhostBSD, if you don't do that, it runs the entire operating system inside of your RAM. So when you do this and you run a system monitor, you're going to show that you're using a lot of RAM, and that's because the whole operating system is running out of it. First thing I want to do is right-click on the desktop. You can create launcher, folder, document, lock icons, change desktop background. Let's take a look at this. And those desktop backgrounds pop up. I'm going to take a look at that one. That's rather nice. That one looks pretty good too. I think I will stick with that one. That was a good looking one. Here you can also adjust your theme. Right now we're using a custom. It's got Vimix, Vimix Dark, or Vimix Light. You can also adjust fonts. Right now it's running Droid Sans Bold across the whole operating system. Except for your fixed width font, which is running Droid Sans Mono Regular. Now, if you click on one, let's go with application font. Right here, you can choose whatever application font that you might want to use. I'm going to leave it where it's at. What I am going to do, though, is adjust the size from 10 up to 12. I'm going to select that. And as you can see, everything changed size, and it makes it a little bigger and a little easier to see. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of that. You do have two panels. Down on the bottom panel, you've got four desktops that are listed right here on the right. And then on the left side, you'll have close all windows and show your desktop. If you go up to your top panel, you have battery level, internet, and sound. And then you do have your calendar right here. And then you can adjust locations as well. Now, if you wanted to, you could right click on the panel, go to properties. And if you wanted to make that panel just a little bigger, you could go ahead and run that up a little bit. I'll bump it up to 30. And as you can see, everything gets a little bigger. And when you do make it bigger, it slides the calendar over to the right side. And then background. You could adjust the background of your panels if you wanted to. You could change those to dark, specific color, and you could even pull up an image and make it have an image up in your panels as well. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of that. Come up to your app menu. Let's click on that. You've got accessories. You've got character map, Ingrappa archive manager, make calculator, font viewer, search tools, password and keys, plank. You can add a dock to this system, but I'm going to show you something and recommend it right off the bat is that if you do want to use plank, there's some steps you need to take because once you activate plank and it drops down here, you have this panel down here. It's kind of in the way. And at the same time, it's hard to make adjustments to plank when it's down here. So right click on the bottom panel. Go to Properties. Instead of it being on the bottom, let's move it over to the left. Let's close out of that. Go back up to Plank. And as you can see, it opens on the bottom. What you're going to want to do is right-click on Plank. Go to Preferences. Its position shows bottom, top, right, or left. I'm going to go ahead and move that over to the right. Close out of that. Go back to your bottom panel. Go to Properties. Move it back to the bottom. And close. Now you have your Show Desktop right here. You still have your workspaces over here. And now you have your plank dock over here. Now what you will notice is that it says panel right here, this little white box. Once the system is rebooted, that disappears and you're good to go. Let's go back over to applications. You got Pluma, take screenshot, graphics. You've got Eye of Mate, Mate color selection, Shotwell. 
If you wanted something like GIMP, we'll download that from the software manager. We'll show you that here in a sec. Internet, you've got Firefox as your web browser. Transmission is your BitTorrent client. Office, you've got Evolution Mail, Mate Dictionary, Antral Document Viewer. We can get an Office Suite as well. Sound and Video, Rhythmbox, Sound, VLC Media Player. And then System Tools, you've got Kaja. Let's go ahead and open that up. That's your file manager. And as you can tell, it's light, quick, and stays out of your way so you can get things done. Over here, you've got your usual suspects. Here are your home folders right here. Of course, you can adjust the size of those if you wanted to, make them bigger, make them smaller. Basic settings. You can come over here and search files. You can go back to your home directory. And then, of course, you've got file, edit, view, go, bookmarks, and help up top. Let's go ahead and close out of that. Back down to your applications. Log file viewer. Mate disk usage analyzer. Mate system monitor. Let me show you this. And like I said earlier, if you notice, the memory is at 2.8 gigabytes. But that's your complete operating system. It's running completely out of RAM at the present. CPUs, I've issued it too. We're running a little bit under 5%. And then, of course, your network history would run down here. So let's go ahead and close out of that. Back over to System Tools. You've got Mate Terminal, Power Statistics, Decomp Editor, and Fish. You also have Places, which is your home folder, desktop, computer, and then over system, preferences, you've got hardware. This is where you'd come and make adjustments to your displays, keyboard, keyboard shortcuts, mouse, power management, date and time, internet, look and feel, appearance, main menu, screensaver, station tweak. Then under administration, you've got print settings and then your software station. Let's go ahead and open that up. And if it says confirm the password, just hit enter. Let's go ahead and let that populate. It is now populated and we have a warning. It says installing software without upgrading could harm this installation. Would you like to upgrade now? We are in a virtual machine, so I'm going to choose no. And now over here, you've got categories. You've got everything from accessibility all the way down to X11 servers, fonts. So you got a lot of different categories in here. And you could also just come up here if you wanted to and do a search. Let's look for LibreOffice. And as you can see, everything pops up for LibreOffice, language packs included. Just scroll down, find your LibreOffice. You would mark it for install. Come up here and click apply and it would install it to your system. You could do that with any software you wanted to install. So that is your software station. That's the way you get apps and software on your Ghost BSD install. So let's close out of that. Back up to system. You've got your control center. Let's go ahead and open that up. You've got print settings, software station, update station, keyboard shortcuts, time and date, power management, network proxy, screensaver, main menu, assistive technology, startup applications, preferred applications. So you've got all the settings that you have on Linux in the made environment, also on Ghost BSD. So let's close back out of that and back over to system. You've got help, about mate, log out of Ghost BSD and shut down. So that's pretty much a quick overview of Ghost BSD with the Mate desktop. It's rather snappy. Tell me what you think. Is it something you might download, throw in a USB, put in a virtual machine and give a test drive? Let me know in the comments below. Do me a favor before you leave today. Please like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you like the channel and enjoy the videos that we're producing, you can become a member right here on YouTube. You can buy us a cup of coffee, or better yet, become a patron to the channel over on Patreon. Those links will be in the description below. Thank you for watching my video, and I will see you in the next video.